Today I'm going to show you three ways to finish your garment. In sewing, finishing doesn't mean you are done with your project. It means you are tidying up all the raw edges so that it doesn't fray. So first, let's talk about the fabric. If you were to zoom into a woven fabric, you will see two types of threads. The first one is called the warp, which is more known as the lengthwise grain. And then the second one is called the weft, which is a long strand of thread that weaves in and out the warp, more commonly called the crosswise grain. The finished edges of the fabric when you bring it home from the store is called the selvage. The very the very first thing that you learn in fashion design is to always cut on grain. That means to lay your pattern on the lengthwise so that your clothes can hang better on the body. Okay, now let's get into the finishing of the fabric. The first easiest and fastest way is to finish your raw edges using pinking shears. It's a special type of scissors that cuts in zigzag form. If you look at your raw edges, sometimes agitation will cause it to unravel because it pulls out full pieces of threads that are holding a weave together. When it is cut on a zigzag formation, the whole warp or the weft is being pulled out completely, only bits and pieces of it, and that helps hold the edges better. Of course, you can always hem it afterwards. The next type of finishing is to use your sewing machine to create zigzag stitches. The best way I find to do this is to have the raw edge in the middle of the foot. As the needle moves to the right, it goes off the edge of the fabric. Now when it moves back to the left, it catches the fabric. The zigzag helps create a thread casing on the raw edge, and this helps the weave stay intact. You can do this with different stitch lengths and sizes for lighter or thicker fabrics. You'll just have to play around with it to find the perfect stitch. Of course, you can always hem afterwards or just leave it the way it is. Still, using your machine, you can always hem your projects. It's a fast way to give it a neat look, but there are definitely more than one hemming technique. Today, I'm just going to show you two pretty well-known ones. So the basic hem is pretty simple. You just fold the edge of your fabric and you stitch straight down. You can, of course, fold it again and then do a two-inch hem for a pant leg or a skirt so that the finished is on the outside and the inside. Or you can finish the raw edges the way I showed you earlier and then use this method to completely finish the garment. Now this next hem is a bit more annoying. Um, this is a rolled hem and what you do is fold your raw edge in once, then you fold it again. Next, stitch as closely as you can to the edge as possible. I really like this method for light fabrics and it's nice if you want your clothes to still have a little flow to it. You can do it as wide or as thick as you want. Also, there's a special sewing foot for rolled hem, but that's a totally different topic in itself. The fastest, neatest, and easiest way to finish a raw edge is using a serger. This requires an overlock machine which is like twice the cost of a sewing machine. Now if you don't sew every day like a maniac, I wouldn't bother buying one. But the overlock machine in concept does what zigzag stitching does. The threads creates a casing over the raw edge in a more elaborate and definitely complicated manner. Now, if you look at all your clothes, they are all finished with a serger. This is because it's the fastest, cheapest, and most efficient way to mass produce things without the clothes falling apart. So those are the three basic type of finishing off the raw edges on your fabric. And I hope you guys learned a little bit of something and enjoyed the basics of this video. And maybe if you like, I can do some more for you guys. Um, just write down below what other basics you want to see in the future. So I hope you guys have a great week and I'll talk to you later. Bye!